Today we're going to explore duotone and making silhouettes and negative images. So what I'm going to do here is grab this image right here. I already have a background image, background removed image of the same photo. So we're going to use that in a minute to do our silhouettes. So I'm going to make a copy of this because I'm going to do a little play trick in a minute afterwards too. So I'm going to go into edit image. I'm in the old editor. You can use the new editor. It has duotone. It doesn't matter. Pick any color you want. And what you want to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to pick out black for your highlights. And then you're going to pick like this, which is peachy color here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to manipulate it around a little bit till I get it to where I want it to make it look more uh, negative looking tone. And then when I like it, then I'll keep it. Or you can just go and go with a black and white negative, which looks really, really cool too. So just because I'm me and y'all knew me, I like to animate things. What I'm going to do with this one is I am going to take this. I'm going to move the position behind here real quick. And I want to play and see something real quick. So I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to throw some match and move in between. I'm going to take the position on this. Give me the position, please. Move this bad boy on top. And let's see what that looks like when it comes through. I just wanted to see what the color looks like popping through. If that looked cool or not. Maybe if it was the other colors like a regular, because it's, it's not like a black and... I mean a color image negative, but that's how you do it. That's how you do a, a negative image, which is kind of cool. I like the negative image. I think they're kind of cool looking. So the other thing you want to do, if you want to just do a plain old silhouette is it doesn't matter what color you pick to say, Hey, I want to, I want her to look like the incredible Hulk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just like color, pick the same color that's up here. And now she's completely green. Or I can go, I want a black silhouette. I can go up here and I go black and black. Or if you want to, well, let's put her over here so you can see her. I like white silhouettes too. So we'll do white and white. And if you can do black, then if you reverse them, let's reverse them. So that's black and that's white. And now you got a black and white image. So you can also make a black and white image using dual tone. The easy way, if you don't want to go through a filter, there you go. You just put in the black and the white. Or you make her black and teal. Um, she was mean and mad today. She's the Incredible Hulk. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. So that's one thing or a couple things you can do with dual tone just to make it have and have fun. Hey, you're bored one day. You want to just make everything. You want to make a bunch of colors. Um, you want to make a little different images of her in different colors and have her make her some two bur two purple ones. Let's make two purple ones. Two purples. And then have her like a big purple shadow background behind her. Coming up on the background. And then we're going to take it and we're going to edit the image. We're going to go in. Once everything starts plopping around. I'm going to go into my adjust settings. I'm going to blur it a little bit. I'm going to stick it behind her. And then she's got a cool little purple shadow coming off the back end of her. So that's another way you can do. You can use two colors or a color and then go in there and blur it. And then you got a, a cool shadow coming off the wall. Just all kinds of fun things you can do with Duo Tone. I hope you had fun today. Thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.